taking off. Bring that ring back and show it to me. Four carrots, a princess cut. Are you psyched or what? I just wish I could be there to see when he gets down on one knee. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't win the prize. If there ever was a perfect couple, this one qualifies. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God, this is happening. Our old home got me queen and king. Finally, she'll be trying. So easy. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Have you seen this? It just came in. Oh, it's perfect for a blonde. Right. With a half loop stitch on china silk. Uh huh. But the thing is, you can't use a half loop stitch on china silk. It'll pucker. And you didn't just get this in because I saw it in last May's Vogue. Oh my God! Oh my God! Here it does. I am not about to buy last year's dress at this year's price. Sell so right through that sales girl's life. It may be perfect for a blonde, but I'm not that blonde. I may be in love, but I'm not stupid, lady. I've got eyes. Oh, my God. Elle Woods, sorry, our mistake. Courtney, take your break. Just ignore her. She hasn't been well. Try this she latest been well. from Milan. Go on, try it on. I take care of my best clientele. It's a gift from me to Elle.
You're perfect. No, you are. No, you are. No, you. No, you. No, you. No, you. you. Be okay, I'm even irritating myself. <laughs> now, I want you to know how happy you've made me. I mean, every guy dreams of finding a girl who looks like you. We both know why we're here. I see it in your eyes. I guess it calms my fear to know it's not a surprise. I thought one look at you, looking like a dream come true, would leave me speechless like you always do. But now we're wide awake, and we've got some plans to make. Let's take some action, baby. So baby, give me your hand. I've got some dreams to make true. I've got the future all planned. It's time to get serious. Time to get serious with you. I never thought um, that honey, I... I'm not finished. Oh, sorry. Since I was two or three, my life was planned out neat. I'd get my law degree. Yeah. And then win my Senate seat. A big white house back east. Oh. All of the amenities. Three kids at least, just like the Kennedys. Here's where our lives our begin. Lives begin. But just where do you fit in? Let me in. I'll break it down now, baby. Oh. So, baby, give me your hand. Here's my hand, here's my hand. I've got some dreams to make true. We both have dreams to make true. I know that you understand. understand. It's time to get serious. It's time to get serious. It's time to get serious. Yes. Gotta wake up and take our journey Serious Telling you that future attorney You want the moon and sky Then take it, don't be shy Baby, that's why you and I Should break up Yes, baby, I'll give you my hand Baby, what? <laughs> You're breaking up with me But I I thought you were Yeah, I, uh, I did talk to my parents uh, about that, Pooh Bear, but the, uh, <laughs> But they expect a lot from me. I, I'm going off to Harvard Law School, and my brother's at Yale Law, and so is his new wife, and she's a Vanderbilt, for Christ's sake. Oh, so I'm not good enough for you? Warner, I'm from Malibu. I'm not exactly trailer trash here. Richard Simmons is our neighbor. <laughs> El... If I'm gonna be a senator when I'm 30, I'm gonna need somebody serious. Less of a Marilyn, more of a Jackie. Serious. Somebody classy and not too tacky. What? Okay, that came out wrong. <laughs> Baby, let's both be strong. I mean, we've known all along. Just shut up. What does that mean? I'm not a Jackie. I'm not serious, but I am seriously in love with you. <laughs> Baby, my future's all planned. <laughs> I've got some dreams to make true. I thought that you'd understand. It's time to get serious. Time to get serious. Check, please. Must we all descend into madness? Yes. Oh, what's happening? Hey. 
Snap it out. So good to see you. Look, we brought you new magazines. We got Town and Country, and your favorite, the one they named after you, Elle Magazine! Oh, thanks, Galar. <laughs> but I think it's gonna take more than Elle and Town and Country to bring me back from my shame spiral. Well then, sweetie, you are just going to have to hold on, because the new Vogue is not out till next week, okay? <laughs> ah! What? Do not tell me ponchos are back in. <laughs> no, or worse. It's Warner's brother, Peyton Huntington IV, and his bride. Mm. Pictures from their wedding. Look. Oh. Muffy Vanderbilt. <laughs> <laughs> Muffy! <laughs> Wait a sec. This is the kind of girl Warner wants. Someone serious. Someone lawyerly. Someone who wears black when nobody's dead. Girls, I have a completely brilliant plan. What you want? Harvard Law, so am I get in there too. Step two. Make Warner reassess, impress him with my high IQ. Step three. We throw a great big wedding. And then by the That's great. Nice plan. Now, can we think this through? Harvard Law School? I have a 4.0 average. Yeah, and fashion merchandising. What makes you think you can do this? Love, I'm doing this for love. And love will see me through. Yes, with the love on my side, I can't lose. And Harvard can't refuse. Even if they do what you want, sweetheart, is no easy thing. If you're going to swing it, it will wreck your senior spring. Yeah, it's true. First, you'll need an LSAT score of more than 174. So no more parties for you. You'll need a killer essay or do not even hope. And glowing letters from your betters. Any chance you know the Pope? Uh, no. Why, law school is for boring, ugly, serious people. And you, Button, are none of those things. What you want, Button, hey, you just say the word. But what you want's absurd and costs a whole lot of swag. And hell, why, Button, when you can stay right here, pursue a film career. How about a nice Birkin bag? Yes, the East Coast is foreign. There's no film studios. It's cold and dark, no valet parking. All the girls have different noses. Right, Button, it's like the damn frontier. Tell me what's up there that you can get right here. Guys, love. To win, I can't live without sun or ballet. I can't just walk away, betray what might have been. I don't care, I'll pay your way if you get it. You wanna be out because it's on she won. What you want, you wanna be sturdy, stuck inside your door. What you want, you wanna be party with us all night long. What you want, you wanna be strong. Be strong! 134, not good enough. Try again, go! What you want, you wanna be grooving, bump and shake the room. What you want, you wanna be proving something and to whom. What you want, you wanna be one to where your youth is gone. What you want, you wanna hold on. Hold 151, still not Harvard material, once again, go! What you want, 
you want to be breathing in the healthy air? What you want? You want to be chasing him and he don't care? What you want? You want to ignore the pain in the looks? What you want? You want to see how he got hit me? What you want? You want to be chasing him and he don't care? What you want? You want to be proud of the man? What you want? You want to be feeling good to be alive? Gentlemen, Harvard Law grants admission to Adam Cohen and Sundeep Padamadon. Ooh, outstanding. And now, Ms. L. Woods, who was kind enough to send in a headshot. She's applying. Apparently. Well, she has a 4.0 average. Yes, in fashion merchandising. Well, she did get a 175 on her LSATs. Oh, yes, and there's also a letter of recommendation from Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> Gentlemen, gentlemen, I'm not arguing Miss Woods is unqualified, but look at her. Is that the face of Harvard Law? Multiculturalism. <laughs> Excuse me. We should admit her for reasons of and multiculturalism. Multiculturalism, exactly. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please get a hold of yourselves. This is Harvard Law School, not Match.com. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, what a shame. She didn't bother sending in a personal essay. Now see here, Ms. Woods, you can't just barge in here with singing and dancing and ethnic movement. <laughs> it's a very flashy presentation, but I still don't see one reason to admit you. How about love? <laughs> you ever been in love? Cause if you have, you'll know that love never accepts a defeat. No challenge it can't meet, no place it cannot go. Don't say no to a woman in love. Don't laugh when I say love. Don't think that I'm naive. Because even a person who's smart can listen to their heart, can listen and believe. So believe in what love can achieve.
Hello, I'm uh, Emmett Forrest, class of Ot Five. Represent. Uh, welcome to the hallowed halls of Harvard Law. I know firsthand how hard you've all worked to be here today, so let's go around and share a bit about yourselves. Aaron Schultz. I want a Fulbright and a Rhodes. I write financial software codes, but that's a challenge I've outgrown. How many yachts can one man own? Some say that I'm a pompous creep. Somehow I don't lose that much sleep. Why bother with false modesty? Harvard's the perfect place for me. Pretty impressive, good to know. Welcome to Harvard. What's up? Yo! Sandeep Agrawal Paramadan. But you may call me Your Majesty. In my country, my word was law. But then I flee because of stupid coup d'etat. But here I learn I make new friends and soon return in bulletproof Mercedes Benz. Pretty impressive, good to know. Welcome to Harvard. I did the Peace Corps overseas inoculating refugees in family clinics that I built myself from mud and trees. I fought to clean up their lagoons and save their very endangered loons and let up protest march against insensitive cartoons. Pretty impressive, good. But now I'm on the legal track because this country's out of whack and only women have the guts to go and take it back. We'll make the government come clean and get more people voting green and really stick it to the phallocentric law machine. I love your top. It is so fatigue chic. So outside do you guys snap? First day of Harvard Law. I know Woods. And this is Bruiser Woods. Eat it! Oh my god, we both have names that start with an E. Oh my god, we're like practically twins. <laughs> uh, we were just going around the circle. Tell us something about yourself. Me? Okay. Well, I'm a Gemini with a double Capricorn moon. And I have a bachelor's degree from UCLA, where I was sick up sweetheart, president of Delta New Sorority, and founded the charity Shop for a Cause. Huh. Oh, and just last week at Fred Siegel, I talked Beyonce out of buying a truly heinous cable knit tube top. <laughs> Whoever said tangerine is the new pink is seriously disturbed. I did not know that. <laughs> Does anyone know where I can find Criminal Law 101 with Professor Callahan and Warner Huntington III? Uh, actually, we're all headed there, so I'm, I'm sure somebody would be happy to show you. Huh. Uh, it's in Hauser, over there, second building on the left. Thank you. You know, I don't think dogs are exactly allowed in class. Oh, Bruiser's not a dog. Bruiser's family. I'll just drop him off at my room. He'd be happier there anyway. Bruiser loves days of our lives. I'll see you later then. I want a Fulbright and a Rhodes. I write financial software codes. I want a go here. Uh, what are you doing here? I go here. You got into Harvard. What? Like it's hard? Uh, this must be yours. Woods, comma, L. Is this my social agenda? <laughs> uh, uh, no. Your academic roster. Oh, right. There's that. Let's totally catch up after class. <laughs> Who is she? My ex-girlfriend. All that pink you're wearing, is that even legal? Pink is my signature color. <laughs> <laughs> so I gather. Everyone take your seats. Professor Callahan should be here any second. <laughs> you know, three years ago, I was sitting right where you're sitting, and I'd heard all the same rumors I'm sure you've heard too. Callahan's ruthless. He bathes in the blood of sheep, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Only partly true. What you really need to know is... You have the right to remain silent 
Anything you say will be used against you. Now, when you choose a law career, the moment you embark, there is that joke you're bound to hear, a lawyer is a shark. Ignore that, it's simplistic and it's dumb. Only some of you will turn out sharks, just some. The rest are chum. Our topic is blood in the water. Kids, it's time you faced. Law school is a waste. Oh yes, unless you acquire a taste for blood in the water. Dark and red and raw, you're nothing until the thrill of the kill becomes your only law. Mr. Schultz, hypothetical question. Would you be willing to defend the following banker accused of fraud? A kind old grandma took her savings and she sent it. Off to your client, all she saved since she was born. Well, he promised to invest it, but he spent it on prostitutes and heroin and porn. No, I would not want to take that case. Wrong! This one is a win, unless you're lazy. Grandma's broke, she'll have some hack from legal aid. Put her on the stand and call her old and crazy. Your guy goes free and he can even get you laid. Look for the blood in the water. Read your Thomas Hobbes. Only spineless snobs will quarrel with the morally dubious jobs. Yes, blood in the water. Your scruples are a flaw. Ms. Hoops, hypothetical question. Would you be the right lawyer for the following client? Say they offer you a bundle for defending. A famous hitman for the mafia elite. Well, seems he missed his chosen prey, killed a nun and drove away, running over three cute puppies in the street. What, do you think I wouldn't defend him just because he's a typical man? Oh, <laughs> 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 oh you lesbians think you're so tough. Excuse me, sir. Oh, dear, I fear my comment has offended. Hard to argue, though, when you're too mad to speak. Your employment will be very quickly ended when they see how your emotions make you weak. So what's my point? I run a billion dollar law firm and I hire four new interns every year. From this class I will select four young sharks whom I respect and those four will have a guaranteed career. Do you follow me? So I want to see why. Exactly, let the games begin. Four of you will win. But just those four with a dorsal fin. Yes, blood in the water. So bite and scratch and claw. Well, yes, Ms. Uh... Woods, L. Woods. Oh, well, someone's had their morning coffee. Could you summarize the case of State of Indiana v. Hearn from your reading, please? Oh, uh, I wanted to answer the puppy question. But I'm asking you about the assigned reading. Okay. Who assigns reading for the first day of class? <laughs> you have guts, Ms. Woods. Ms. Kensington? Let us say you teach a class at Harvard Law School, a position that you're justly proud about. But a girl on whom you call hasn't read the case at all. Should you let it go, or...? No, I'd throw her out. All right, then. You heard your classmate. You have just been killed. She cut your throat, so grab your coat. Yes, you've got guts, but now they're spilled. You're a blood in the Turn, be ready to learn, or is that unfair? Oh wait, I don't care, that's just how I rule. In life as in school with fear and shock and awe. You're nothing until the thrill of a kill becomes your Hey, 
Woods, comma, L. Listen, I got kicked out of class once first year, too. It's awful. But trust me, your law career is not over. Law career? <laughs> so not the problem. Listen, I just need to get back into class with Warner. Can you help me? Yeah. Come back tomorrow and make sure you've done your reading. <laughs> right. Uh, um, excuse me. Why would you do that to another girl? Do what? We girls have to stick together. We can't try to look good by making each other look bad. <laughs> I didn't make you look bad. You just weren't prepared. Try opening a law book sometime. But I should warn you, they don't come with pictures. So I'll give you ladies a moment then. <laughs> Aren't there girls going wild somewhere without you? Uh, hey. Oh, Warner, thank God you're here. Yeah, Elle, listen, I'm really sorry. That... Sorry for what? Warner, is there something you'd like to share with Elle? <laughs> Do you know her? Yeah, Elle, uh, Vivian and I went to boarding school together. Hmm. And now she's my girlfriend. I'm sorry, I just hallucinated. What did you say? He said I'm his girlfriend. <laughs> Margo, Serena, Pilar, girls, what are you doing here? Elle, this is a tragedy, and every tragedy needs a Greek chorus! Greek chorus! Elle, Elle, we are here to help. Yeah, but we're not actually here here. No, no. <laughs> we're just in your head. Yeah. Honey, what you crying at? You're not losing him to that. Both her hair and shoes are flat. And why is she so rude? Wipe your tears, it's no big thing. You were meant to wear his ring. You're wrapped it up, it's time to bring a happy attitude. Keep it positive. As you slap her to the floor, keep it positive. As you pull her hair and call her whore, you can take her in a bite. You and T will reunite. You know we're right, we're positive. is never wise not the way to win back guys anyway she's twice my size who's got a plan b me look at her she's like a nun show him you are way more fun bust out the lap dance and you've won you off the hizzle g what keep it positive Warner, let's take this back to my place.
Paulette, so you're in good hands here. I'm like Allstate, but for hair. Make me a brunette. A what? A brunette? Oh, honey, you can't change this. You're a genetic lotto win. Okay, something else is going on here. Now, back up. Paulette is listening. Spill. Okay, I'm Elle Woods, and I came all the way out for Harvard Law School. <gasps> That's a good school. I know, right? <laughs> anyway, I did it all to follow my one true love, Warner. But now he's... He's... <laughs> he's dating an evil preppy. So, what's she have that you don't got? Three boobs? She's serious. Seriously, does she have three boobs? No, she's a constipated polo shirt with a mousy brown bob. Apparently, that's what Warner wants. So you have to make me a brunette. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, do you know the number one reason behind all bad hair decisions? Love. You lost without your love. Your heart is on the floor. Well, I can help you. I've been there before. When I need to relax, I just put on some tracks from this CD I bought for the store. Isn't that relaxing? It's called Celtic Moves! When I'm only a feeling dejected, I play this and it never fails. I pretend like I'm in Ireland with Enya and the whales. <laughs> when my telephone gets disconnected or I spend every night alone, I pretend like I'm in Ireland where the Irish bagpipes drone. Smell the grass as a rainstorm is ending. People smile while I stroll past their farms with a red-headed sailor named Brendan. And we dance without moving our arms. In a bar once I met this guy, Dewey, and he bought me like 14 beers. And he told me that he was from Ireland, so I lived with him 10 years. If I squinted, he looked like my sailor through my boozy, delusional fog. But he dumped me for some slut named Kayla, took my trailer and took my dog. of you, you're allowed to shoot him in the knees. Say, you look like that poster for Ireland, long blonde hair and that sweet sunny face. Oh no, wait, that's the post of the Sweden. Oh, screw it, I'll never see either place. But a girl sweet as you has a future. You have hope as each new day dawns. Girls like you always get to see Ireland. Give my love to the where I miss my dog Rufus the most. Look, it's our annual glamour shot with little sailors. Oh, beyond adorable. No woman should be denied her dog. Ugh, tell me something I don't know. So, I'll bring the lobster pot stickers. Oh, perfect. And I have a case of Chardonnay. Yum. Oh, now that's a party. <laughs> oh, there's a party? 
Hello, Vivian. Hello, Elle. Uh, yeah. Just a few of us are getting together next Friday night. Well, hey, Elle! Maybe that guy you like will be there? You should go! Definitely come. It's a costume party. I love costume parties. Of course you do. Okay, next Friday at 8, 243 Mass Ave. See you there. Thanks, Vivian. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Hey, Elle, you are so gonna borrow my secret weapon costume I got in storage. Listen, all we need to do is dust off the mothballs. Oh, but wait till you see it. Now, you go. You go, and you do this, honey. Because if a girl like you can't win back her guy, then there is no hope for the rest of us. Oh, Paulette, thank you for talking me off the ledge. You have no idea how much I needed this. Oh, well, then go, Elle. You go, and you fight for it. Until everyone's dead I'm not sure where this metaphor's going I just felt like it had to be said There's a guy at that party who loves you Something most of us only dream of You go out there and you get some more The country of Thank you for hosting this. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> we all needed a break from law school anxiety and worrying about Callahan's internship. Uh, you can say that again. <laughs> well, you two enjoy yourselves. Oh, mingle. Okay. <laughs> you do know Whitney's father is next in line to be Speaker of the House. So you said. Oh, just think. Future presidents could be in this very room. Okay, I'm gonna go track down Robert Coleman and convince him that he must join our study group. Apparently, his summer home is three houses down from Justice Souter. Okay, I'm gonna grab a beer, right? Check out Miss October. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> hey, stranger. Oh man, uh, what's with the costume? Can a girl shake things up? Yeah, but how come you couldn't wear this when we were going out? Because I guess you never asked. Which now ranks as the greatest regret of my life. <laughs> no, I, uh, I still can't get over the fact that you're here at Harvard. I mean, back at UCLA, I never would have guessed it. Sometimes I miss the old days. Those parties senior year, I thought we ruled the world. You funneled all that beer, I held your head when you hurled. We were like gods back then, walking among common men. Tell me why can't it be that way again? Dreams don't just disappear. We could keep on dreaming them here. What? Like senior year, but funner. You've got your future all planned. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. What well, if I'm standing there, too? Wait, I'm not following you. I'm here because I understand. Not sure I understand. I'm here because I'm serious. You're yeah, right. You look real serious. <laughs> Warner, don't forget I got into this school, too. And now we'll both be studying law together. Maybe we'll both get Callahan's internship and work together. Whoa, 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 wait a second. El, you get kicked out of class like every day. You don't actually believe you have a chance at getting that internship, do you? Of course. Oh, everybody in the class wants it. Nobody more than me. It's a guaranteed career. You're, you're practically made partner before you get a job offer. And El, you're looking fluffy, as usual. Oh, hello, Vivian. Thanks for the great tip on the costume party. I see you came as last year's sample sale. <laughs> Look, Pooh Bear, uh, Al, you have to ace his course to get that internship, and he's not called C minus Callahan for nothing. Warner, I am completely cognizant of both of those facts. You're not gonna make it through the semester, let alone get Callahan's internship. Even if you keep going and going and going. <laughs> Face it, Bunny. 
One of these things is not like the other. Someday we'll nominate Supreme Court justices and you'll tan. <laughs> Run home, Elle, and change out of your skank costume. Oh, is that what you see, Vivian? How unfortunate, because I'm Gloria Stein in circa 1963, researching for her feminist manifesto, I was a playboy bunny. Are you actually calling Gloria Steinem a skank? Who's calling Gloria Steinem a skank? She is! I can't believe you say that! Whoa! Elle! What's up? Doc? <laughs> Love. Excuse me? I put my faith in love. I followed where it led. Love led you here? To my personal circle of hell. It has not worked out well. I wish that I were dead. Cause instead of a wedding and love, I'm punking out of school, a total laughing stock. Someone he and his friends can just mock. So go out here my head, just hit him with a rock. Wait. Go back. You came out here to follow a man. Harvard Law was just part of that plan. Man, what rich romantic planet are you from? Malibu. Instead of lying outside by the pool, you stalk some guy to an Ivy League school. That's the weirdest reason I have... Well, why'd you come? Okay. I grew up in the Roxbury slums with my mom and a series of bums. Guys who showed me all the ways a man can fail. I got through law school by busting my ass. Worked two jobs in addition to class. So forgive me for not weeping at your tail. Well, excuse me, but just because you've got a chip on your shoulder. You know what? You're right. There's a chip on my shoulder. And it's big as a boulder. With a chance I've been given, I'm gonna be driven as hell. I'm so close I can taste it, so I'm not gonna waste it. Yeah, there's a chip on my shoulder. You might wanna get one as well. Well, that sounds highly negative. Hey, I'm just being honest. When you weren't born into privilege, you gotta work twice as hard. I want that sweatshirt back. Wait! Two jobs? Plus law school? I haven't slept since 1992. Seriously? How do you do it? Well, I don't go to parties a lot. Not good use of the time that I've got. Can't spend hours doing my hair and staying in shape. Well, I don't spend hours. But I know it'll all be worthwhile when I win my first lucrative trial and buy my mom that great big house out on the Cape. That's so sweet. No, that's the chip on my shoulder. I hugged my mom and told her, with a chance I've been given, I'm gonna be driven as hell, though I can't take the day off. I just think of the payoff, you need a chip on your shoulder. Little Miss Woods, comma, L. No, I don't! I just need to prove to everyone that I'm serious! <laughs> what you need is to get to work. Make yourself at home. Hello, Kitty. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you drink a lot of Red Bull, don't you? It gives me energy! For when you're up late studying. What? I said studying. You do study, don't you? Where are those law books? Oh, um, they're under the... Oh... Under the, the pile, um, pile of there. <laughs> they're here somewhere. You know, this vanity's real picturesque, but it started its life as a desk. Clear it off and find some room for books instead. What are you doing? Can you live without this? Can you live without that? I don't know what this is. It's for hair. Wear a hat. Spend some time improving what's inside your head. Out, out, put it in storage, sell it on eBay, leave it behind. Out, out, what are you angry? Good, so get angry. You may find a chip on your shoulder. No! 
phone just got colder. But with the chance you've been given, why are you not driven as hell? There's just no way around it. You gotta plow through till you found it. <laughs> been reading it hard, I can tell. Tis our gift to be simple. Tis our gift to be free. Mm -hmm. What is this, my second, my third, and I don't know, but I am loving it. <laughs> ah, define malum prohibitum. Malum prohibitum. Malum prohibitum is, um... An act prohibited an act by... prohibited by law, like jaywalking or chewing gum in Singapore. Therefore, malum and say means. Malum and say is an action that's evil in itself. Assault, murder, white shoes after Labor Day. Ha <laughs> ha, good. Where are you going? Home, of course. Uh, it's Thanksgiving break, remember? Interesting. What? Well, I predict you will probably pass yes! in the bottom percent of your class. What? If you're going for mediocre, you've done great. That's not fair. Look, they laughed at me like they're laughing at you. We can't win if we don't follow through. Might I venture your vacation plans can wait. Why do you always have to be right? Focus. Now, the case of Russell versus Sullivan. Determined that Russell was legally the child's father, even though he was just a sperm donor. Oh, gold star! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> um, uh, this is my friend, Paulette. Hi. Hey there. Um, for you. Not as good as going home for Christmas, but... You are too sweet. It's a real time saver. Shampoo and conditioner in one. Oh! Hair care? I love this guy. Oh, well, I'll just leave you two alone then. I'll see you later, Elle. You are so adorable to think of me. Hey. Oh. Elle, hey, have you seen Vivian? I've been looking for her everywhere. Yeah. I mean, no. Great. We're gonna miss our flight. Um... L? I don't know if you've noticed before, but each time Warner walks through the door, your IQ goes down to 40, maybe less. Huh? Though it's hardly my business to say, could it be the real thing in your way? Is the very guy you're trying to impress? Yes. I've been smiling and sweet and thoroughly beaten, blowing my chance. Let's not chase him away. Let's face him and say, hey, Pop, let's dance. This chip on my shoulder makes him smarter. It aside. Yeah, but Mr. Latimer wasn't stalking. He was clearly within his rights to ask for visitation. Russell versus Sullivan. No, but Russell was known to the mother. Latimer was an anonymous donor. Well, yeah, but without Mr. Latimer's sperm, the child in question would not exist. Now you're thinking like a lawyer. Uh, ah, that's yeah. the way to do it. Yes, Ms. Woods. Mr. Huntington makes an excellent point. But did the defendant keep a log of every sperm emission made throughout his life? <laughs> what? Interesting. Why do you ask? 
Well, unless the defendant attempted to contact every sexual encounter to find if a child resulted in those unions, he has no parental claim over this child whatsoever. Why now? Why this sperm? Well, I see your point. And by Mr. Huntington's standard, all masturbatory emissions where the sperm was clearly not seeking an egg could be called reckless abandonment. <laughs> Ms. Woods, you just won your case. Oh my God. <laughs> Woods, excellent work today. I assume you're applying for my internship. Do you have a resume? I'm one step ahead of you. Here you go. And thanks in advance for your consideration. Dear God, it's scented. <laughs> you know, three months ago, I would have recycled this. Make sure to put it on file. Guess she got a chip on her shoulder. Maybe some wise man told her. With a chance we've been given, we gotta be driven as hell. She was something to see there. I'm just happy I could be there. First big test and she aced it. She's so close she can taste it. She got a chip on her shoulder. Guess you never can tell. Are you ready? Oh, I don't know, Elle. Dewey scares the crap out of me. And that's okay. Channel that fear. Remember, you are a strong, independent woman, and you must be reunited with your dog. <laughs> Anyone who bakes their dog a birthday cake deserves nothing less. Oh, and it's shaped like a bone! <laughs> and that kind of devotion cannot be ignored. Well, it's not easy to find dog-friendly chocolate substitutes. Oh, and the... Oh, crap. Not you again. Paulette, get your fat ass off in my property. Dewey, I want to see my dog. I, I got a right. Yeah. And I'll bet you didn't even know it it's his birthday today. Oh, oh, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Well, you can't see him, jelly gut. Best decision I ever made was throwing you out. No! Can you believe I lived with that for 10 years? And that cheapskate, he never even got me a ring. L. they lived together for 10 years. Of course, Emmett, you are a genius. Oh. Mr. Bonafonte's legal team. Lawyers? I don't think you realize that the great Commonwealth of Massachusetts recognizes your 10-year relationship with Miss Bonafonte as a common law marriage and entitles her to equitable division of property. Huh? Translation, we're taking the dog! nicest thing that anyone has ever done for me, bar none. <laughs> Wait, was that law? Is this the point of law? I'm feeling kind of high. You okay? This is why we all study and slog to help the underdog. I so identify. Guys. 
Callahan got a big murder trial defending exercise queen Brooke Windham. He needs extra help, so he's posting his internship today. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I need the best and the brightest. Congrats to the choice few. As for the rest of you, welcome to the middle. Emmett, I'm making you my co-counsel on the Windham trial. Prove yourself here in the title associate isn't far off. Yes, sir. We start Monday, 9 a.m. sharp. And uh, make sure everyone dresses appropriately. Internship. What? It's just like we planned! Oh, babe. Oh, this is just the beginning. Wait, it's, it's perfect. Make this the happiest day of my life. Warner, it's absolutely stunning. Marry me? Yes. All of this time I planned I'd be patient and You would love me again You'd come to respect my mind And at last you'd find You could love me again And I have turned my whole world upside down Trying not to let you go Watching you walk away it's like a fatal blow. What? Whoa! He said my name up on that list. Does someone know that I exist? Is this a mistake? Am I even awake? Pinch me now to make sure. But I guess my best was not working with you. Okay, over here. But it looks like I found a cure, and I so look forward to working with you. What? Working with who? Hey, remember when we spent spring break in the hot tub every night? Every night. Said nothing else could ever feel so right. Well, this might yeah. see my
pound or two Then you can turn this off right now My workout's not for you I'm talking to the woman who wants it all Gotta pay for what you get Cause size two clothes don't come to those Too lazy to sweat I want you with me to shake When I say jump say no We have a lot to cover. Meet our brand new client, Brooke. You can laugh, but she's made tons. Offer DVDs and book. Whip your way to tighter buns. Happily married, so she swears to her 60-year-old stud. Till stepdaughter came downstairs and found Brooke all covered in his blood. If Brooke took a plea, I'd have her out in three to four. But she claims she did not kill him, did she? Let's watch some more. It's more than just a workout, it's a defensive weapon, too. Simply wrap it round your assailant's neck and pull till he turns blue. You can also use the patented handle grip to shatter your attacker's spine. And all for three small payments of 1999. Let him whip it to shake when you get grief from a guy. Just work him over to death till he starts to cry. If you don't act like you should, you got to whip it, whip it, whip it good. He gets you out of any strain. Get you whipped into shape. Come on, people! Whipped into shape. What does not kill us makes us hotter! The hands? Who thinks she's guilty? Okay, now here is where you kids come in. Brooke has trouble trusting me. I'm her only chance to win, but I don't speak MTV. Though Brooke won't help her own defense, she may listen to her peers. Go and place a little sense in the space between her ears. I'm adult, Not I'm now. I want her whipped into shape. If there's a brain in that hair, tell her that I am the key. It's a plea or the chair. See, when I talk to her, I get neither plea nor plan nor alibi to quote from our defendant's tape i want her whipped into shape to the jail Miss Wyndham, you got some visitors. Miss Wyndham, I'm Emmett Forrest, your co-counsel from Stidwell, Ziskowski, Fox, and Callahan. These four interns are the cream of the crop at Harvard Law, and we're here to uh, whip up your legal defense. Uh, incidentally, my mom is a big fan of your DVDs, credits you with her nutcracker butt. Her words. Anywho, we'd love to discuss your case and go over a few choices. We want to free you as soon as possible so that you can bring your message back to your fans. Well, good. That's all I want. This ought to be easy. Great. Callahan briefed me on your meeting, and there is a significant amount of evidence against you. To free you, the jury is going to need to hear an alibi. Not gonna happen. Even though it could save you. Yep, if you put me on that stand, I'm gonna be forced to lie. Well, okay, Miss Wyndham, if we can't hear an alibi, then 
You should accept a plea bargain. And admit to something that I didn't do? But with a plea bargain, you'd get out in a couple of years. That sounds reasonable, right? Reasonable to do time for my husband's killer? Mm, not really. Whoa, she's tough. Yo, sister! Yo, not related! You know what? I need a legal team that knows I'm innocent. Get out of here, all of you. Guard! Ooh, who is the girl with loyal friends and true? Who, who? <laughs> who, who has a bond as strong as crazy glue? Who, who? Who can sound the call and sisters all come through? Who, who? Delta new, 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 Delta new, new, new. You are a Delta new. Delta new, 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 Delta new, new, new. You are a Delta new! <laughs> Delta news, former UCLA president L. Woods. I knew I recognized your mugshot. Shut up. Oh, yeah. Your DVD's got me in shape to be June in the Girls of UCLA calendar. That is so great. Thank God somebody on this legal team gets me. Sisterhood's forever. <sighs> I believe you, Brooke. And I will fight with everything I have to clear your good name. But that involves an alibi. I can't tell it. Everyone has their secrets. For years I denied my highlights. It's beyond highlights, Elle. It's a disgrace. My secret is nuclear, and if it gets out, I could lose my fitness empire, which means everything to me. If I tell you, will you Delta New Sister Swear not to tell anybody? I will double Delta New Sister Swear. You're hardcore. Okay, here it is. <laughs> On the day that my husband was killed, I had... What? Liposuction! Minimally evasive! Outpatient lipo, but lipo! Windham, your time's up! I had to do it. Serious cottage cheese were showing up on my ass. Your secret's safe with me! My followers are depending on me. I cannot let them down. You have to take care of me, Elle. You swore. L, there you are. Where's Brooke? The guard just took her back. Great. But I got the alibi. You're kidding. Well, so what is it? I'm afraid I can't tell you. Why not? Because I double Delta News sister swore not to. L, this is not some little sorority thing. Oh, I know, it's a big sorority thing. But don't worry, Brooke really had nothing to do with this. Think about it. Brooke's a fitness queen, exercise gives you endorphins, and endorphins make you happy. Happy people just don't kill. Emmett, a word? L, are you serious? If you don't give up the alibi, we will all lose this case. But then I guess we're not very good lawyers. Oh, oh would you God. stop being a Marilyn? Look, Pooh Bear, I, uh, L. <clears throat> Look, Callahan wants that alibi. Give it to him, and, and you can sail through law school, knowing that there's a fat job offer waiting for you when you get out. But I gave Brooke my word. So what? Who cares? Who cares? Damn it, let me be very clear. This is your chance. I gave you simple instructions. Lead this legal team and get me an alibi. You're zero for two. Everyone, field trip's over. Let's go back to work. Except you two. I'd rather not see Ratty Corduroy or Legally Blonde again today. Emmett, I'm sorry. I don't need you to be sorry. I need you to tell me the alibi. Well, I can't because I gave Brooke my word. But having an alibi is not the only way to win this case. No, but it sure would help. Work with me. We can free Brooke the right way. The noble way. This is not a Lifetime original movie, Elle. I'm not interested in nobility right now. I'm more interested in saving Brooke's life. No, you're not. You're more interested in impressing Callahan. Well, he is my boss. If I impress him, he's going to make me associate. By jeopardizing your client's trust and our integrity. <sighs> well, when you put it that way... Exactly, you butthead. <laughs> My word means something, and I know yours does, too. No one's called me butthead since the third grade. Maybe not to your face. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, God.
Come on, let's get out of here. Why do you always have to be right? I don't have to be. When I'm with you, I just am. You want to impress Callahan? I can help. Okay, how? Listen, I love your scruffy vibe, but casual Friday is so not in Callahan's vocabulary. You gotta look the part if you want to get ahead. Elle, didn't your mother ever teach you about not judging a book by its cover? She did, but I also know that books with tattered covers stay on the shelf. Oh, thanks a lot. Hey, <laughs> this isn't a perfect world. You think I haven't been judged my whole life? You think it wasn't a good idea to make Navy my new pink? <laughs> no, that was a good idea. I know. Where are we going, exactly? You trust me, don't you? Of course. Then don't stop now. What is this place? It's called a department store. It's... It's beautiful. First, a deep breath. Take it all in. Feel all those halogens warming your skin. Smell how they pump in pure oxygen. See if they care. Love? Excuse me? Love? The new fragrance from Chanel. Oh, no. Thank you. I know you're scared. Nevertheless, think of the people you want to impress. Swallow your pride for me, just not yes, and prepare. Cause something's in the air. I think it's love. Exactly. Here you'll become what you're supposed to be. You think you can, but you can. your chance to make it so take it like a man <laughs> what does she want not really sure why can't we leave things the way that they were why can i never say no to her what's that smell subtext by calvin klein <laughs> that i don't like that's kind of neat Guys who wear that get beat up on my street. Still, I've come this far. I can't retreat in my shell. I'm in the hands of hell. What the hell? You, you'll become what you're supposed to be. You think you can, but you can. Think of the guy you are most to be. Here's your chance to make it. So take it like a man. Okay, this is strange. Watching them change right before my eyes. Don't watch me change. Look at him striking a pose. His confidence grows. I look like a rose. It's just clothes. God, I love shopping for men. Okay, this is nice. They walk in a tree, they walk out a tip. Is this the price? Don't worry, this is my treat. There's someone I'd like you to be. I look like Warner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's just me. That's the best part. The outside is new. But now it reflects what's already in you. Couldn't change that if I wanted to. And I do not. Thank you. No, thank you. This is no gift. It's payment in kind. Cause you saw beyond all the blonde to my mind. Oh, we've got to buy this. What are you blind? You look hot. See not the guy I'd have chose to be, but when she's standing so close to me, I think I like her plan. A chance to make
you ready for your big trial? Are you sure you don't want me to pay little gavels on them for you? That's okay, Paulette. That may be a bit too much. All right. Classy lawyer Pink it is. Oh, when those jury people see your nails, they'll know they can trust you. <laughs> Which is more than what my team is doing. They are all over me to give up Brooks' alibi. Including your friend, Emmett? Well, he's on the team, too. In more ways than one. <laughs> oh, oh, I've seen the way he looks at you. Bullets! What? He's just my friend. Oh, right. Well, I could use a friend like that. <laughs> I've got a package <laughs> for Miss Paulette Bonafonte. <laughs> the name's Kyle. This is my new route and the first stop of the day. Kind of cool karma, huh? Alrighty then. Do me a favor. Have yourself a super day. Oh! Oh, Mike! The new UPS guy is like walk-in porn. Already. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, honey, I can't talk to guys like that. I'm not like you. I've got nothing to offer. That's so not true. Oh, my God. Did you see that? She's got the most perfect minute snap I've ever seen. You're yeah, a natural. natural. Hi, Hi, Paulette. I see dead people. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is just my Greek chorus. <laughs> I am so psyched you can see them too now. But I haven't had any Jaeger. When your bend in snap has that much snap, it's been known to alter all laws of physics and logic. <laughs> what are they talking? Bend and snap? The bend can snap. <laughs> That's good. That's real good. It's a move invented by UCLA cheerleaders to break the will of the opposing team. But... It also has real-world applications. The Ben and Snap is 99.99% effective on straight men. Oh, great, because I have such a good track record with them. OK, OK, I see the problem here. And it's not physical. No, it's spiritual. Paula just needs a little spirit. And Serena knows about spirits. <laughs> she is a UCL. Do you know why cheerleaders always get the guy and keep the guy? Because you jump around and show your panties? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> and, and because we command and demand attention. For real. You yeah. must become the cheerleader you fear. Yeah. You got the pom-poms. It's time to shake it!
my asthma spray. Watch me while I walk away. No, wait before you walk away, just me. Look how good you're getting. I'm Ben right now, you sweat. Hey, wait a second, when I beckoned, look how the guys came running like I'm kicking, kicking ya, licking, like I'm freaking wicked, wicked stunning. Will you pay for stuff I buy? Yes. And make me cake and pie? Yes. And hold me when I cry? Yes. And I will tell you why. Why? After rocking a lock away, all the boys come and got away. Dropping jaws from a lock away. Watching how I walk away. Plus you watch her walk away. Did I leave my stylus? Do it! <laughs> oh, crap! In day three of the Brooke Wyndham murder trial, DA Joyce Riley has been grilling Nikos Argitakos, Mrs. Wyndham's pool boy, all morning. The waters could get dicey. Let's hope the defense pack their floaties. Katie? Which is why you should clarify for the court exactly what your duties were as the pool boy. Cleaning the pool. <laughs> Whoa, total hottie alert. Oh my God, Emmett, is that you? Elle took me shopping. Emmett, you look sharp. Chalk one up for Elle. So, Mr. R.G. Tacos. Could you explain to the court what Exhibit A is? That was my uniform. And was it Brooke's idea to have you wear this uniform? Yes. And could you tell the court exactly what your relationship was to the defendant? Brooke and I were lovers. No, for the question. He was your lover? No! A Delta Nu would never sleep with a man in a thong. I just like to watch him clean the filters. It's unbelievable. You're all making me look like an ass up there. Your Honor, I request a ten minute recess. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll take this outside. Why didn't I know about this disaster? All right, it is a setback. No, it's motive, Emmett. Paulette, what's up? Oh, hey, Elle, I just had to call and thank you. The bend and snap worked. I may have broken Kyle's nose, but I got to spend four and a half hours with him in the ambulance and at the ER, and it was the most romantic time I've ever had in my entire life. Oh, Paulette, that is so great. I told you the bend and snap is infallible unless the guy is gay or something. I gotta go, bye. Oh, okay, bye. Watch this. 
Did you see it? See what? Um, no. Maybe you should do it one more time. Please! Nikos couldn't have had the affair with Brooke. I just did the Bennett snap in front of him, and nothing. Clearly, he must be gay. Nikos did leave a share CD in the pool house once. Wait, wait, wait. You want to out this guy on the stand? Oh, that's crazy. You can't build a legal strategy on the bend and snap. We need a defense, not a dance move. So you think he perjured himself, but you can't prove it. You know, if you're wrong, we look desperate and homophobic. But if she's right... And I know I am. There! Right there! Look at that tan, well tinted skin. Look at the killer shape he's in. Look at that slightly stubbly chin. Oh, please, he's gay. Totally gay. I'm not about to celebrate. Every trait could indicate a totally straight expatriate. This guy's not gay. I say not gay. That is the elephant in the room. Well, is it relevant to assume that a man who wears perfume is automatically, radically gay? Look at his quaffed and crispy locks. Look at his silk translucent socks. There's the eternal paradox. Look what we're seeing. What are we seeing? He's is he gay or European? Gay or European? It's hard to guarantee. Is he gay or European? Well, hey, don't look at me. You see, they bring their boys up different in those charming foreign ports. They play peculiar sports in shiny shirts and tiny shorts. Gay or foreign fella, the answer could take weeks. They both say things like chow while they kiss you on both cheeks. Oh, please, gay. Gay or European, so many shades of gray. Depending on the time of day, the French go either way. Is she gay or European? Or Condescending smirk, seen it on every guy at work. That is all that row, hat row, jerk. That guy's not gay, I see no way. That is the elephant in the room. Well, is it relevant to presume that a body in that costume is automatically, radically, ironically, chronically, gay, officially gay, officially gay, 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 or European? So stylish and relaxed. Is he gay or European? I think his chest is waxed. But they bring their boys up different there. It's culturally diverse. It's not a fashion curse. If he wears a kilt or bears a purse. They were just exotic. I still can't crack the code. Yeah, his accent is hypnotic. But his shoes are pointy-toed. Huh, gay or European. So many shades of gray. But if he turns out straight, I'm free at eight on Saturday. Is he gay or European? Gay or European? Gay or European? Wait a minute. Give me a chance to crack this guy. I have an idea I'd like to try. The floor is yours. So, Mr. RG Tacos, <laughs> this alleged affair with Ms. Wyndham has been going on for... Two years. And your first name again is? Nikos. And your boyfriend's name is? Carlos. <coughs> I'm sorry, I misunderstand. You say boyfriend. I thought you say best friend. <coughs> Carlos is my best friend. You bastard! <laughs> You lying bastard! That is it! I don't cover for you no more! Peoples! I have a big announcement! This man is gay! I'm European! Oh. I don't need this place! Oh. You gotta stop your being a completely closet case! Oh. It's me, not her, he's seeing, no matter what he's saying! I swear he never, ever, ever swing the other way! You are so gay, you big parfait, you play me one big cabaret! Or not yesterday. So if I may, I'm proud to say he's gay. He's gay. He's gay. He's gay. Fine, okay, I'm gay. Okay, oh, thank you. To Emmett for decisively turning the case around and for nailing the pool boy. <laughs> Emmett nailed the pool boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have to share this victory with L. To Emmett. 
And I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> to L. To L. To L. Okay, but uh, since when did a finely tuned gaydar qualify as a legal victory? Ah, but without that gaydar, we wouldn't be celebrating with champagne. We'd be dead in the water. Elle Woods trusts her gut and has shown more legal smarts than most my staff. She won this round, making her a good lawyer. And, uh, while we'd still love to hear that alibi she got, by keeping it, she's never compromised the client's trust, making her... A great one. Which is more than I can say for you, Warner. Be useful. Go get me a coffee. But we're drinking champagne. Splenda and skim. <laughs> As for the rest of you, go home, get a good night's sleep. I need you all sharp tomorrow morning. Ms. Woods, could I have a word? Of course. I'll catch up with you in a second. Thank you, Professor Callahan, for, for what you said before. It, it meant a lot to me. Well, you deserved it. Uh, don't tell the other law students I said so. I have a scary reputation to uphold. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Yeah. Um, but I, uh, I really do appreciate this opportunity to work with you. I have learned so much. No, what you've learned isn't the point. You have instincts, and instincts, legal or otherwise, can't be taught. Trust your instincts. I thought you were smarter than that. Is this the only reason you gave me the internship? It's been nice working with you, Ms. Woods. You can show yourself out. Well, hello, Marilyn. It looks like you'll make partner now. I mean, you really earned it. Warner, shut up. Take back the books and pack up the clothes. Clear out the room and drop off the key. Leave with what's left of my dignity. Get in the car and just go. Chalk it all up to experience. They said I'd fail, but I disagreed. Who could say then where my path would lead? Well, now I know. Back to the sun, back to the shore, back to what I was before. Back where I'm known, back in my own very small pond. Laugh with my friends. She is intern of the year. Thanks for your help and for all you've done. Thank you for treating me decently. What's wrong? Maybe someday you can visit me. Give me a call. Say hello. Wait, where are you going? Sorry, I'm letting down everyone. What brought on this? You did your best with a hopeless case. That's ludicrous. You are the best thing. About this place, well, you should know. Callahan hit on me. He what? He kissed me, then he fired me, and he made it very clear I don't belong here. He's wrong. Hey, we'll fix it. We'll fight it. Emmett, please.
there's no reason for me to stay. What about love? I never mentioned love. The timing's bad, I know. But perhaps, if I'd made it more clear that you belong right here, you wouldn't have to go. Cause you know that I'm so much in love. you and I like him oh well hey thanks for walking Rufus for me was well, the least I could do consider this training a thank you for staying by me at the hospital oh believe me the pleasure was all mine well I should get back to my route now duty calls <laughs> Duty calls. He's all that and he has a job. Oh, come on, Rufus. It's time for your manicure. Good boy. Duty calls. <laughs> Paulette, I just came to say goodbye. What? Goodbye? I'm going back home to California. What? California? Why? Back to where I make sense. Honey, you're not making any now. What happened? All of this time, I thought I was proving myself and making a difference, but it turns out I'm just... One big blonde joke, and that's all anybody's ever gonna see. That's not what I see. Maybe we girls have to stick together. And maybe Warner saw a blonde who is sleeping her way to the top, but all I see is a woman who doesn't have to. I used to pray for the day you'd leave. Swore up and down you did not belong. I was wrong about you. So listen up. I see no end to what you'll achieve. That's only if you don't turn and run. You proved it to me. Now show everyone what you can do. And you look great in dark blue. Get back in the game. Back on the case. Take a good look at my face. I'm not a fool. And it's a rule. I do not fall. But I see a star. You keep it. But I'm never wearing that again. L, Honey! You're in the supply closet! <laughs> I know! I said I'm never wearing that again! I'm wearing this! Back in that game, back to the top. Nobody screws now. 
Annette, what's going on? Oh, well, we're all just cheering on our friend now. Yeah! I've got another package for you. Oh, thanks, Kyle. B. Oh, Boyle. Hey, what does the B stand for? Brendan. Absurd, Elle's just a law student. She can't represent you. Actually, she can represent Brooke, Your Honor. Rule 3.03 of the Supreme Judicial Court states that a law student, Miss L. Woods, may represent a defendant in criminal proceedings. Only if she has a licensed attorney to supervise, and without me, she does not. Yes, she does. I'm licensed, Your Honor. I'll gladly supervise. Well, like hell you will. You work for me, remember? No. I work for myself. And I don't have to hit on interns, Professor. Enjoy prison, Ms. Wyndham. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm going now as I live in free. Thank you, Emmett. Did you actually think I was gonna let you get away? Uh, Ms. Woods, any day now you may proceed. Call your first witness. We call Miss Chutney Wyndham to the stand. <gasps> oh my God! TTP, total tragic perm. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Wyndham, what was your relationship to the deceased? He was my father. And um, uh, did you actually see the murder take place? No. I was in the shower, but when I got out, I saw Brooke standing over my father's body drenched in his blood. Oh boy, we're screwed. Well, Don't listen to him, Elle. You're fine. Go ahead. Miss Wyndham, on the day of the murder, did you see anyone suspicious hanging around? Suspiciously hanging around my shower? Uh, uh, no, before that. I was out, getting a perm. But then you came home and took a shower? Yes, I was in the shower! Your Honor, I would like to go to the bathroom. Shouldn't you have gone before the murder trial? Oh, no, I mean I would like us to all go to the bathroom together. Why do girls always do that? I mean, I would like everyone to return to the bathroom where this alleged shower took place. 
I'll allow it, Ms. Woods. Round trip, round trip. Court reconvenes at the scene of the crime, but I hope she's not wasting my time. Yeah. Hey, Paulette, can you do this for me? Uh, yeah, 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 sure, sure. Gonna do it. We're on the move to the scene of the crime. Best luck to prove at the scene of the crime. Here we are at the crime scene. Scene of the crime. Watch where you walk. It's the scene of the crime. Don't touch the chalk. It's the scene of the crime. in the shower. I uh, thank you. <laughs> now, Miss Wyndham, you claim on the day of the murder you were out getting a perm. Was this your first perm? No, I've permed my hair since junior high, about three a year. Interesting. My associate has just gotten a perm herself today. Exhibit B, Miss Enid Hoops. <laughs> now, would Exhibit B's perm be similar to your own? Duh! And one more time, you didn't see the murder or hear the gunshot because you were where? In the shower! Thank you. Miss Hoops, would you step into the shower, please? wet for 48 hours. Exactly. Water deactivates the perm's ammonium diglocalate and completely ruins it. It's the cardinal rule of perm maintenance. Your perm is still intact, so you couldn't have showered that day. Why would you lie about being in the shower? Why would you lie about not hearing the gunshot? Why would you ask? Like I liked being older than my dad's new arm candy wife. I didn't mean to hurt my father. I didn't mean to shoot him. I thought it was Brooke coming through the door. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my my god. God. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, oh my god! 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 Hold on! Bad enough that I'm in a jam. Take her into custody, you're free. And we apologize. Oh my god, it's a dream come true. I just knew I could count on you. And no one had to know that I had liposuction on my thighs. <laughs> I think someone needs to talk to you. That's okay. I'm... I'm gonna see you later. Elle, to think I didn't take you seriously. I was wrong. Thank you, Warner. We do belong together. You showed me who we could be. Together again. Oh, Warner. Vivian dumped you, didn't she? <laughs> Though I dreamed of this day long ago. Now my answer is thank you. But no. Look, I've barely begun. I'm hardly through. I was living in ignorant bliss. Till I learned I could be more than this. And you know, in a way, I owe it all to you. I thought losing your love was a blow I could never withstand. But look how far I have come without anyone holding my hand. I had to find my way. The day you broke my heart, you handed me the chance to make a brand new start. Shakespeare wrote, 
to thine own self be true. And it must follow, as the night the day. Thou canst not then be false to any man. I believe this wise statement best applies to a woman, a blonde woman. <laughs> Over the past three years, she taught me and showed us all that being true to yourself never goes out of style. Ladies and gentlemen, our valedictorian, Elle Watts! Ladies and gentlemen of the class of 2000... Here's a part where she gives her big speech. Who is so proud, but Elle's not one to preach. So she said we could play, where are they now? Here we go! In it practices family law. Vivian training for the Peace Corps. Warner quit, said he makes more modeling anyhow. Callahan ran for governor, but was defeated, of course. And his wife hired Emmett to handle the messy divorce. And me, I think I'll find my way. And hey, I married Kyle, and now we have two kids. Featured dog grooming. Here, take a couple cards. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Back to L. I thank you, one and all. The ones who thought I'd fall, who taught me how to fail, who helped me to prevail. Make me the happiest woman I know. Oh my, oh my, oh my God.